Hey guys, how you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you're having a spectacular day. And as always, autodidactic means to be self-educated. And in this world, we need to be self-educated because if we're not, the only choice we have left is to believe what other people tell us. And the story they tell us about the past is clearly false. And that's what we're going to have a bit of a look at today. So what we've got on the screen in front of us, this is Fort Macquarie in Sydney on Sydney Harbour. It is now gone. And as you can see, it's what we would uh, call a castle. Uh, and it's also a star fort. One of a few. So these star forts, uh, or bastion forts as they're called, the story says that they were basically, uh, you know, invented. You know, the first ones were built by the Italians, and then the French copied them. That's where we get the name bastion fort. And they basically went around and built these forts. Uh, but the story kind of falls apart when you find these star forts in Australia because. Uh, they were all supposed to be built between the 15 and 1600s. And of course, Australia was not found, so they tell us, until 1788. Uh, so who built this? That's what we're going to have a look at. All right, so let's jump into it. So a bit on Sydney uh, from Wikipedia. This is the narrative. Uh, Sydney, the capital city of New South Wales and the most populous city in Australia and Oceania, located on Australia's east coast. The metropolis surrounds Port Jackson and it extends about 70 kilometres or 43 miles uh, inwards towards the Blue Mountains, west to Hawkesbury and north to the Royal National Park. So it's a very big uh, city uh, population as of June 2019 Sydney's estimated metropolitan population was 5,312,163 that's a very precise number meaning the city is home to approximately 65% of the state's population so it's a big city uh, the first city founded uh, Port Phillip Bay is in Sydney and that is where we are told Captain Cook landed. So the first inhabitants, the first people to inhabit the area now known as Sydney, were the indigenous Australians who had migrated from northern Australia and before that from southeast Asia. With radiocarbon dating has shown evidence of human activity in the Sydney area from around 30,000 years ago. So there we go. There were people here. Britain. The first meeting between the native people and the British occurred on the 29th of April 1770 when Lieutenant James Cook landed at Botany Bay on the Cornelli Peninsula and encountered the Guaygai. He noted in his journal that they were confused and somewhat hostile towards the foreign visitors. Well, you know, you rock up into someone's backyard. <laughs> Cook was on a mission of exploration and was not commissioned to start a settlement. He spent a short time collecting food and conducting scientific observations before continuing further north along the coast of Australia and claiming the new land he had discovered for Britain. Prior to the arrival of the British, there were four to 8,000 native people in Sydney from as many as 29 different clans. Again, you know, four to 8,000. You know, they get the um, population of Sydney down to the person, right? down to like, uh, where did it say, 23 or something, 163, but uh, as far as, you know, the, they can't get the native population within 4,000, and also it says here, this is in 1770, uh, that he's sailing around, so I guess he was sailing around for another eight years before he landed and claimed, so um, claimed Australia, because we're told it was 1778. Britain, and before that England and Ireland, had for a long time been sending their convicts across the Atlantic to the American colonies. 
That trade was ended with the Declaration of Independence by the United States in 1776. Britain decided in 1786 to found a new penal uh, outpost in the territory discovered by Cook some 16 years earlier. 1770 again. The dates um, are not right here. 1788, that's what I'm looking for. Captain Philip led the first fleet okay, of 11 ships and 850 convicts into Botany Bay on the 18th of January 1788. Uh, though deemed the, lo the location unsuitable due to poor soil and lack of fresh water, he travelled a short way further north and arrived at Sydney Cove uh, 26 January 1788. This was to be the location for the new colony. So there we go. Uh, turned up 1788. Uh, this is the narrative. The first, uh, you know, Europeans uh, that they, they tell us were... Um, you know, advanced, and they've, they've basically come to a country uh, that was vacant, that had no infrastructure, no buildings, uh, you know, nothing like that. But we're just told that uh, the natives were basically just running around in, living in bark huts and hunting animals. So let's see if that story lines up. So 1788, 11 ships and 850 colon, uh, convicts land in Botany Bay. This is Sydney Harbour Defences. Sydney's earliest fortifications were built around Sydney Cove to protect the new colony of Sydney from attacks from non-British ships or convict uprisings. In 1791, the Dawes Point Battery was meant to be the first line of defence against an attack by the Spanish Empire, while Fort Macquarie was an upgrade from an earlier fort built in the same time uh, to a larger one in 1796. Okay, 1791. This is three years after they've turned up with nothing. A couple of boats, maybe some hand tools and some convicts. Or so the story goes. Uh, but they've built Dawes Point Battery. Okay, and also Fort Macquarie, which is what we saw. That was that fort we were looking at uh, at the start of this video. So already, and, and this one, they kind of say, look, there was a fort there and we upgraded it sometime um, and a larger one, 1798. So eight years, guys, eight years after they turn up with nothing, they are building this, which is also this building. Uh, it got turned into a tram depot. So we'll go through some of those photos later. There it is as they're um, destroying it. So this was a big, uh, what it is, is a Starfort Citadel. Uh, and that was built within 10 years of them landing on the shores of apparently a vacant continent. Okay, so Dawes Point Battery, the first uh, defence, the first fort built in Sydney, uh, so we are told. It was built and modified from 1791 until 1925, of course, deconstruction. Uh, so yeah, three years, guys, three years after they landed, they're building things like this. Now, this is it. Uh, you can't, it's not the best picture. Let's see. No. So you can see here, old photo uh, we've got old world street lights coming out of these walls, cannons, and it's all obviously big, you know, masonry construction. Not the best photo. This is Sydney. Uh, it's oh, Fort Denison. That's another star fort there. This one is, I have no idea. <laughs> this one's out on the rocks somewhere. Uh, we'll check it out later. Here we go. So this is a view of it, <laughs> uh, and, and this is what they've built within three years of landing, you know, old world street, like, you know, everything, guys, we've got the wrought iron, you know, it's just, just old world. Um, of course, you know, they have their, their cannons. And what cannons are, I still don't know. But, you know, they put them up, basically, so that everyone goes, oh, yeah, this is a, a fort. It's all about war. Okay, and this is uh, Dawes Point Battery. 
So we have this very old picture, 1821, a drawing. Now this drawing is going to show basically nothing there. This is supposed to be Sydney Harbour, we've got one little house. So I'm going to show you some photos or some pictures uh, that are very different to this. Here's another picture, of course the cannons are still there, um, and yeah, it looks like someone's turned a bit of this fort into a house, but as you can see, look at this bit that's left, it's a castle, um, so I'm not sure if they found this in disrepair or anything. Got a wall here with a door, of course, going underground. Again, they just, you know, they love to show the cannons, don't they? It's all got to be about war. Back in the day, now this is 1871. Okay, so this is less than a hundred years after they turned up on the shores with nothing. And look at the build out. These are like, I don't know, what are they, three, four story, story buildings? Completely built out. 18, uh, oh, 73. You know, so that's like, you know, 85 years after they landed. And you get things like this. Little bunker booth with its little copper dome. You know, it's a bit of antiquitech. These old lights, uh, or the old stonework. I don't know, that might be a new light, but I think the stonework, the old ironwork that we see everywhere. And this place was just built out. Uh, this is a view from Port Denison, and you can see buildings everywhere. Windmills, the lot. And this is Fort Macquarie. This is the big, uh, seems to have been the biggest, you know, sort of most intact part of, of the Star City. And this one, Fort Macquarie, was a square castellated battlement fort. Built in 1798. Built 10 years after they landed with nothing. A few tools and some convicts. Uh, Built in 1798 at Bennelong Point, Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, on the site where the Sydney Opera House now stands. So that's why they bulldozed it, and they put the Opera House on there. It was demolished in 1901 to make way for a tram depot. So it wasn't actually demolished, as you can see in this picture. Um, they just converted it to a tram, a tram depot. But again, you know, we've seen all these... Um, crystal palaces and things like this that have train stations underneath them. So was it already there? Because, you know, the, these tram systems seem like they were already there. On the 25th of November, 1789, an Aboriginal man named Benelong was captured and brought to, government Philip, to Governor Philip. Eventually, three huts were built on this split of land for Benelong, his wife, Bangaroo, and other Indigenous visitors. Okay, so they're saying at the start they just built three little huts there. So, so you know, it's, it's a narrative to say this was not there. But again, look at this. This is just, uh, this is obviously just across the top, but I mean, that's clearly, you know, <laughs> clearly. I mean, even to the point, it's, can you see that like four, four leaf clover type thing in the wall there? Why would they do that? Why would they even just put this? you know, uh, facade around the bottom here that we, that we see. You know, it, this would all be about practicality. Ten years, guys, ten years after they landed. And this picture is 1885. And look at the build-out. Uh, that's a two, three-story house, a few smaller houses, but then some big buildings over there. The first attempt at fortifications were erected here July 1788 when Lieutenant Dawes was directed to build a small redoubt there. When finished in November 1788, the year they landed, so um, we're talking 10 months, guys, 10 months uh, to build the first fort. It held two brass six-pound guns. I don't know where they came from. This early fort was demolished in 1791, three years later, and the guns and flagstaff moved to the west side of the cove. The earthworks were then used to the governor's garden and later the largest building in Sydney. Um, a 24.75 metre storeroom was erected there. 
Oh my gosh, quite a story. Who, who were they worried about? You know, this is Australia. This is, you know, back in the 1700s, uh, early 1800s, boats, you're looking uh, six to nine months is the journey time. And this is Australia. This is a massive continent. The Dutch have already been to the West Coast. You know, seriously, they're going to spend all this time and effort building these forts, massive brick forts, and somehow they get these cannons to put in them. And they're going to do that before they build things like grain silos and farms and farming land and fencing to keep animals out so they can grow stuff, mills. Warehouses are good. They said they built one of those. But all these things that you need for a new colony. You know, this, this story of you land somewhere and put all your effort into building a fort, how, doesn't make sense. How are these guys eating? Where were they living? You know, they expect us to believe that, what, everyone was out building this massive stone, intricate fort during the day and then going home and sleeping in bark huts. It's, 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 it's really quite ridiculous. Uh, so this is it. This is Fort Macquarie, as you can see. Uh, here, clearly, a star fort. Look at this wall. Uh, now, it looks like we've got some of the rounded edges that we see. Looks like this might be a rounded sort of square uh, with the castle in the middle. We've got a turret here, but clearly, um, we've got this big star corner here. And look at this edge. This is clearly all man-made, straight down into the river. Uh, you know, really nice workmanship, and these angles again, like we see on the stars. So this is what they're saying now. If they built this fort, they would have to build this first, this this retainer wall, so they, they could level this, even though it doesn't look very level. So this is the story. What they do? Yeah, let's rock up. Let's build a new colony. What should we do first? Uh, let's build a wall around the river. That that'd be a great thing to do. You know, first, because it's a brand new colony. Uh, so, we, you know, the stories we get, you know, they're quite ridiculous. Here's a drawing. As you can see, again, completely walled castle. And look, up in the background here. Uh, we're going to have a look at what that is in a minute. And here we have a red flag. Uh, so that would be, I'm not sure of the year here. Uh, Australia wasn't founded into a you know, country until 1901. But that does look like an Australian flag with the you know, the Union Jack there. But red, red is the actual original um, colour of the Australian flag. Red is the flag for the land. And blue, which they fly now, the blue one, is for the water. Admiralty law. So here's an aerial view of Port Macquarie. This looks to be sort of, I don't know, 1920s-ish. There's no sail ships. We've got a steam ship here or, you know, a, it's probably not steam, but it's got a big, you know, blower thing on the top like the Titanic. Um, so probably, yeah, 20s or 30s. And here we have our fort. And uh, you can just see this is clearly, you know, a big structure. Now, this is the back bit that they turned into the warehouse. So this thing just got repurposed and repurposed, and as they did it, they just tore more and more of it down until uh, they, they just ripped it all down and put the opera house. This is where the opera house now sits. Uh, and then, of course, what do we have here? Look at this. That's that one, two, three, four, five, at least six stories, large stories. Look at the size of that door. Um, and what are these? These are people, I think. I mean, it's, it's a bit old, but let's see what we can see. Yeah, so a ton of people walking up here. But yeah, look at this. You know, old world. This looks like here. Look at this. This is a big wall. So this place, uh, you know, early 1920s, completely built out. Like with these massive old world buildings. All right, so here's some more pics. Here's a man-made wall uh, and the fort and little man standing here. And as you can see, this is what they can build. Little wooden boats and little shacks. But, you know, the, and this would be, you know, what, late 1800s? But they're telling us that they built this 100 years prior with convict labour. 
go and build us an awesome fort. Make sure you, you put in all this ornate uh, symbolism and then go home and sleep in your bark hut. Here's another one, of course, posing by the cannons. We have the cannon balls down here. And because it's all about war, right? And yeah, look at this big castle, massive fort. And again, look what's in, look what's in the background here. And this is again an old photo. This, um, you know, probably between 1880 and sort of 1910-ish. And look at this building. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, here again, just to show you, this is it's just an old world fort. And you can see it's been flooded out. You know, there's a bit of masonry here sticking out of the ground. And this is, it got turned into a tram depot. Uh, so this is the front of it. This is the back bit that they turn into a warehouse. And they say they built that as well. But I mean, look at this wall. It's, that's an old world wall. And yeah, they built it into a tram depot. Uh, this is an old shot. You can see, I mean, look at this, just on its own, this, you know, um, tower <laughs> popping out of the ground. On, on this, this looks like a very sort of uh, man-made structure. Well, we've got to look at this. We've got the wall here with blocks. They're ripping that all apart. Look at this. They're ripping the blocks out to repurpose them, no doubt. And this. Now, look how high this is, but we've got this on, down here. So, clearly, that goes under the ground. And, again, we get this, you know, this juxtaposition. Old world, you know, big masonry structure and this is what they can build on the front and again look at the levels this is one level or oh, it's probably even lower than that but that's you know let's say that's one level this is one level for them so again you know about twice the size well you can see the roof is just touching almost the top of that level so i don't know what this machine is this guy here is destroying something another wall out there not sure what this structure is. And oh my gosh, look at that. Is that a dome? Massive building in the background. And again, this would be early. This is the kind of tech they've got. You know, they can make a fire and I don't know what that's for. And yeah, they're, they're ripping down this wall and they've got all their bricks stacked up here. That they're, that they're using, I guess, you know, to, to rebuild or to build the colony. Because I don't know what this is. That's not there anymore. They probably just took it apart brick by brick. And turned it into something square. This again. Man-made wall. Look at this. Here we have the fort. And here's this massive building in the background. And here we get to see domes on towers with spires. Big old world buildings. Just everywhere, guys, but they built it all, right, with convict labour in just a hundred years or so. Uh, this is obviously a drawing, uh, but back in the day, and you can see this is just a full castle, right? It almost looks like it's going into the water there, doesn't it? Uh, these are the people in their little boats. And we've got more sort of structures here. Look at this up on the hill. Uh, again... That is, that's Parliament House. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. I'm not sure what this structure over here is, but it's big. And, you know, here as well. And notice, you know, we've got a couple of trees here, but they're not very, you know, particularly big. And this is pretty, you know, barren, really. There's not much growing there, is it? And, of course, we get these sort of hills, you know, these kind of flowy-looking hills. Again, some of these pics are a bit small, so the contrast might not be the best. But you can see here, uh, this is the fort. This is what they say they built and turned into a warehouse. And then they converted it into a tram depot. And so we have all the trams going around. Uh, and they're stored in there. Another picture. Seen that one. Again, Government House, Sydney. 
from Port Macquarie. So this is Port Macquarie and this here in the background is Government House. This thing. And as you can see, it's another castle. So, you know, castles everywhere in Sydney. Sydney, guys. And, and all, you know, within a hundred years of the, you know, of them turning up. So, how did they do this? Where did all the brick come from? Where did all the cement come from? You know, this is, is a, a well-built building. Again, you know, with these symbols in it. You know, who did all this? Unskilled convicts. Uh, light. Look at this. Going straight into the ground. Now, of course, that may be gas. Uh, but, you know, we see this everywhere. And they, and they just go into the ground. And we see so many of them are, are, are electrified. And you can see this is back in the day of sail ships. So, you know, this is uh, would be a drawing from the early 1800s. Just big castle structures. Oh, this is when the shit hit the fan. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, a bit of a weird picture, this one. But back in the day, huge walled citadel. Look at that. And then they built on the back of it this thing. Well, they say they did, but uh, this was probably, um, you know, like a courtyard and they've probably just roofed it. You know, one of those courtyards you see around. Um, but definitely the roof on this, you know, warehouse was added later. Uh, again, you know, just these early drawings. You know, people rock up. Now, this would be very early, and look, we've got this massive castle here, which is Port Macquarie, and this is Government House. And that's an, I mean, and this is what you do, right? You build structures like this as your first buildings. It doesn't make any sense at all. And, and you, you know, seriously, explain to me how it's even possible. You know, again, where did the glass come from? Where did the bricks come from? You know, who, where were the, you know, the mines for the raw materials and where were the, the, you know, factories to produce them into bricks and glass and iron and all this stuff, roofing sheets. Uh, where were all the mills? Where were all the, you know, the labourers with the skill to do this? Um, <laughs> where, where is, where's the time? How fast, you know, are we supposed to believe they were whacking these up back in the day? This is um, when they were destroying it. They sort of let it go and then they just went nuts. Let's build an opera house. And they smashed it down. You can see in here it's a brick structure. You know, it uh, looks like it's, you know, bigger block work on the outside or on the wall or something because this is all brick. Looks like triple layered brick. And um, you can see how well it's built. It's been smashed out and it's still just standing there. Stairways inside and, you know, a bit sad. And of course, we even have a ladder. A ladder for UAP. But, you know, this is this is the story, right? They just, they have to destroy all this stuff because it doesn't fit in the narrative. And they destroy it and then they just don't talk about it. And within, you know, 20 or 30 years, people forget that it even existed. You know, people forget that Sydney was covered in castles in the 1800s, the early 1800s. Now, again, uh, this is, you know, we've got the um, chimneys, uh, coal chimneys probably. So this is, we don't have any tall ships. Don't think that's a tall ship. So we're probably talking again, you know, sort of around the early 1900s, 1920s or 30s. This is our fort. At this point, this has been turned into a warehouse. Uh, you can see how it's been re-roofed. Or, or roofed, like I said, this could, this looks like it was probably just a courtyard, an open courtyard. Um, and I mean, look at this. Is that an aqueduct? What is that? Because you can see that line going straight through there. And that looks like an aqueduct. Uh, but yeah, this is Fort Denison, uh, that they built 10 years after landing. 
This is government house. Uh, this is a huge man-made wall. As you can see, this is way up on a, on a mound. And this is that building that we saw with this massive doorway. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six stories above the ground. But look at the build out next to it. Look at this. And then again here, we have another huge old world building. So just kind of ridiculous. You can see they're starting to build out here. Lots of population and it's hard to see what these buildings are. But they look like, you know, sort of square apartment buildings. But, yeah, again, the story. I mean, these, these, these yeah, castles. Who built the castles of Sydney? There it is again. as a tram depot. Because that's what you do to castles, right? Because that's what you do to castles, right? You turn them into... Because that's what you do to castles, right? You turn them into tram depots. Makes perfect sense. And, and I mean, it just shows you, I mean, how silly the story is that these things were built for defence. Now, clearly, there was nothing to defend against down here in Australia. And here we have another fort. Uh, this is called Fort Denison. And this one is sitting out in the water in the middle of Sydney Harbour. And as you can see, this is in the time of tall ships. So this is around the turn of the, 18, you know, the 1800s, early 1800s. And look at the background again. Look at these big spires and cathedrals and things. Now, early 1800s, guys, tall ships. So Fort Denison, part of the Sydney Harbour National Park, is protected in the National Park and is a heritage, heritage listed former penal site. So they're saying this was basically where they used to send the bad convicts. Uh, the site contains a time gun. Oh, what? A time signal is a visible, audible, mechanical or electronic signal used as a reference to determine the time of day. Well, there you go. So it had a clock. <laughs> Uh, navigational aids, tide gauges, um, well there you go, not much. Uh, it was a prison, the first fleet arrived in 1788, Governor Philip and the Advocate General used the name Rock Island. In 1788 a convict named Thomas Hill was sentenced to a week on bread and water in irons there. The island came to be known as Pinch Gut. Once a 15 metre high or higher sandstone inlet, the rock was levelled by convicts, of course, with, with, I don't know, sticks, under the command of Captain George Barney, the civil engineer for the colony, who quarried it for sandstone to construct the nearby circular quay. Of course. Uh, in 1795, the governor had installed a giblet on principle, a convict to be hanged and then Gibbeted. Oh my God! What is that? Gibbeted. There was Francis Morgan in 1793. The British transported transferred him to New South Wales. Blah blah blah. So basically, it was a it was a colony for the yeah. It was a jail for the bad convicts. In 19, in 1839, two American warships entered the harbour at night and circled Pinchgut Island, concerned with the threat of foreign attack, caused the government to review the harbour's inner defences. And Barney, uh, that's uh, Fred's friend, Barney, who had earlier reported that Sydney's defences were inadequate, recommended that the government establish a fort on Pinchgut Island to help protect Sydney Harbour from attack by foreign vessels. Fortification of the island began in 1841, but was not completed until 1855 because of fear of a Russian naval attack during the Crimean War. Ah, the stories they weave. So two American ships came in 
uh, weren't hostile, circled the island and didn't attack and they went, oh my god, uh, we really need to build a fort because we might get attacked by these peaceful Americans. And then they start building it, but they stop because they're scared because um, Russians are in the Crimean War. So when they, they might actually need a fort, the story says they stop building it. And this is a story, you know, I've, I've mentioned this so many times before. These, these forts, these staff forts that aren't forts, you know, we're, we're led to believe that these people... You know, they have wars, but and what? They build these forts while they're having the war? You know, these are massive constructions, and these would need to be finished before the war started. You know, you don't start a war and then go, oh my gosh, we need to build forts. Uh, and most people don't, you know, spend, most countries don't spend decades building forts and getting up their defences so they can go attack someone. Because you've got to leave your forts behind when you go and attack. It's just a... You know, the whole narrative just really, when you think about it, it just doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, so basically they're saying this fort was built, yeah, constructed between 1841 and 1855 uh, by convicts, no doubt. And this is it. As you can see, we've got a structure here. We've got uh, these castle walls. So no, God knows how uh, far this goes into the water, because look, look at the size of this. Now, clearly, this was a tower, or it's the top of a tower. It doesn't, you know, it looks like it's been shortened, doesn't it? Uh, but we have, yeah, this tower here with its other little, tiny, smaller tower. You know, the castle walls, a bit of, looks like Antiquitech on top, and just sitting in the middle of, of Sydney Harbour. And, of course, they say it was made of sandstone, right? And they went and quarried it. Hmm, maybe they just took the top of this tower took the bricks off, you know, like in that picture we saw before when they were just smashing it apart and stealing all the bricks. And here's a close-up look of uh, what's on that tower. So it's a lighthouse. And of course on top they've put, made it into like a weather vane, north, south, east, west. west. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, looks like, you know, old world metalwork. Look at this bell. Um, so probably just, yeah, repurposed into a lighthouse. And this is an aerial view and I mean you can clearly see here, you know, tower. This was, I don't know if this was a tower, but it looks like those rounded bits you see on the, that we saw on Fort Denison. Uh, and yeah, basically it looks like most of this is just in the water or underwater. You know, we've clearly just got a little bit here of the fort. So that, you know, this, I don't know, is that a man-made wall? Now that may have been made, I'm not sure, you know, it's hard, it's not a very good picture. And all these aerial pictures, they've all got um, watermarks on them, all the ones I could find. And a shot from back in the day, I'm not sure when, but as you can see. Um, just popping out of the water, you know, the walls go straight in. You know, they don't, you know, tell us how these convicts were scuba diving to build the bases of these walls, do they? They just sort of say, oh, they, they leveled it and then they built a thing. I mean, that's not an easy job. And, you know, just, you know, remember all the um, materials need to be brought out here first in these little wooden boats they had. You know, not, not an easy job. That would have taken a while to build. Okay, so we get these paintings, and this is the founding of Australia, the 26th of January, 1788, by Captain Arthur Phillip. Um, yeah, Arthur Phillip. And uh, the founding, so Captain Cook was obviously there somewhere, I guess. We're told he was the founder. And as you can see in this picture, nothing. A couple of tents here, but just trees. Uh, no construction. This is what they're telling us it was. And they've already cut down one, two, three, four, five trees, and they've just turned up. So, oh my God. But yeah, like, this is what they say, just bushland, nothing else. Okay, when they turned up uh, vacant continent, basically. This view of Sydney Cove, circa 1794 to 96. So this is 
um, you know, what, six to eight years after they've landed. Uh, as you can see, they're showing a few little buildings here, but um, not a lot. And all the trees have suddenly gone. No trees. All gone. Um, of course, this is a bit of a battle because everything's about war. And here we go, the city of Sydney. Uh, let me just do that. 1888. So this is 100 years after they landed. And you can see how built out it is. And it's built out with buildings like this. Old world buildings. Everywhere. Look at them all. Cathedrals. It's just fully built out. In a hundred years. And this is a view of, I haven't got a date for this one. It just says Victorian, so oh, here we go. 1883. So yeah, 100 years, guys, 100 years less. 95 years after they turned up, this is what the streets looked like. Just wall to wall, old world buildings, just ridiculous. And here's a picture from 1920. A tram car on George Street. You have our tram, tram tracks, horse and cart, giant sized buildings. Look at this. This is the top of the level. Well, this is the top of this level one. You can see that's the doorway there, and this is the size of the human. So, what have we got there? One, two, three, you know, that's at least four, maybe five times as high as him. So this is what they did. They came into a new country and they built everything oversized because they just had materials and craftsmen just everywhere. They needed to do something with it. I think that's what happened. <laughs> we look, just right down the street. Completely built out. So there we go. There's a few pictures of Sydney. So now I want to show you something that I found. And this bit here, you know, just this is how they do the narrative, right? Fort, built 1817. Well, you know, we just saw that they told us that it was built, what did they say, 1798 or something? I mean, um, off by 20 years there. Uh, and they're saying opened 1821. Demolished 1901. And that's, that's the year of Federation as well. Um, so all the dates are wrong, you know, and what they do is they kind of, what they did is they converted it into um, a tram station and all these different things. And, but these dates don't match up with what we're told. It's all over the place. All, all right, so this is the picture uh, that I found. Now this picture, North Hill, Sydney, New South Wales, colour lithograph. Published 1825. Okay, so we're talking 37 years after they turned up. And look at this picture. Now the best thing about this picture is it's got, uh, it tells you all these different buildings. And, we, and you can see there's just castles and stuff everywhere. Uh, so we've got Fort Macquarie, which we've already looked at. Now Government House, well, we've got Government House Stables. So they're uh, number two. And as you can see here, Government House Stables in Sydney in 1872. This is the stables. <laughs> A castle. Okay, so castles for stables, castles for tram depots. Just castles everywhere. And of course, what are the stables now? They're the Sydney Conservatorium of Music. Okay, from uh, stables, horse stables, to the conservative of uh, conservatory of music. So there you go, uh, repurposing the past. Here it is. Uh, former Sydney government stables, so yeah. Uh, and now it's mm, conservatory of music, as you do. So yeah, that, that was there in uh, 18... 25, 
Uh, we have the windmill up here. General Hospital. The Rum Hospital. That's a big old world building. Let's see if we can find that one. Here it is, the General Hospital. Look at this. We've got uh, detailed construction plans here. And uh, this is basically the structure. So if you look, this is this is the same thing. Um, oh, that's not it, is it? Sydney Hospital, 1931. Oh my God, look at that. Now, I, I, the, uh, um, I think that's a different structure. But that's, wow, that's huge. Here's more. Okay, so this is it back in the day, yeah. This is the uh, Australia's first hospital. So it looks like it's still standing, just like Elton John. And what they do is they put these balconies around the edges to change the look of the building. Uh, but that was that would have just been an old world building that, that looked like, you know, many of the, of the other ones we see. I'm trying to find one here. Uh, but yeah, basically, you know, if you took off all the balconies, you can imagine that would be a different looking building. You know, have got porticos and the whole lot there. Uh, the hospital. So there you go. That was built 1825. And this is the kind of thing you see in Sydney. And, and Melbourne's even better. We'll get onto Melbourne as well. So... Uh, Billy Blue's house, there you go. Now, St. James Church as well was there. And then we're going to have a look at Government House, which is really <laughs> um, just ridiculous. Uh, so, St. James Church, let's, and here we have it. Now, again, look at the size of this man here. Look at the size of this doorway and just the level and the, and the roof height. Uh, massive spire and look down the street completely built out and this was there in 1825 because you build you know, 20 foot ceilings and these oversized chapels right for convicts um, and of course we have the old uh, street lights and things going to, into the ground and it looks like it's still standing today and here we go and I mean look at that that's clearly just old world uh, and it's not even flat. It doesn't have a flat foundation. Uh, Greco-Roman, as we're told it is, styling out the front here. And construction photos as well. Look at that. 1840 to 1850. Domes, Antiquitech. The lot. And, um, yeah, it was around back in the day. It looks like this building next to it's gone. Which, yeah, it has. Whatever was there with that dome on it, they have knocked down. And of course, all just dirt roads, because, you know, you only need dirt roads to, to haul in all the heavy materials for buildings like this. Is that it? That's it. Okay, so look at the size of this thing. St. James Church, Sydney. But these are people. So you can see the size of this thing. Ridiculous. Now this one, Government House. This is Government House. In Sydney. What do you think? Castle? This is what they, this is, this is the story. This is what they built as Government House. And uh, as you saw, completely constructed in 1824 along with all these other buildings. And again, 1824 is, uh, what are we talking, 42 years after they landed on the shores with nothing. They're constructing things like this. It's still there. It's a castle. Uh, there's, you know, it's just a castle. This is the back of it. Uh, so this is complete with all the grounds and everything. So literally, this is, you know, we know what castles are, these types of castles there. Uh, stuff, what citadels? Um, they're trying to say this was government house, but I doubt it. <laughs> Not you know, how did it get changed to look like this? Because this is it. It's a castle. Don't know what else to say. It's a castle. So all built there, guys. All there, eighteen twenty-four. 
we've got wars, so we've got military barracks, another church, St. Philip's. Holy dolly, and look at this, just another massively oversized church. Is that a person? Oh my god, look at the size of this. And look at that Antiquitech. I have not seen that before. See up there? I've seen this shape, uh, but not for coming out of the top of a square tower like that. Very interesting, of course, the old world streetlight here. Back in the day with all the gentry hanging out at their castle. Uh, here's a picture. This is back in the day. And again, look at this wall. See how the ground level just goes straight down there. And this wall is, is un, you know, going down. So this part of the wall is buried. So how tall are these pillars really? Because you can see how big they are already next to this dude. So this is Government House, back in the day, and of course, dirt roads. Just dirt roads, not paved or anything, because you don't pave the roads first, you just build a castle. And walls going into the ground. And another shot, and again you can see here the people. Two little guards in front of this massive castle. Oversized, you can see the top of the windows here. Uh, so you can see how big these floors are, how big these stories are. Stories, stories, that's all we get. Stories, fake stories. Okay, so this uh, be Sydney, and this is Sydney Harbour. This is the largest harbour on Earth. And as you can see, it keeps going all the way back right up here. It's, it's huge. Uh, and if we come down here, this is what was the main part of the Star City. Uh, you can see there's all this, you know, open lands that they've sort of left. They've put their freeways through, you know, some funny angles around, and this is Government House, you know, we have all this uh, open land here, man-made, clearly man-made edges, a oh, nice little pool, and as you can see, it's clearly a castle, so this is Government House, a uh, massive castle structure, it's just huge, I mean, it's what, like what you see in Europe, you know, they turn to palaces, um, not sure where the stables have ended up. Uh, the, the conservatory must be down here somewhere. But basically, yeah, you can see like this um, you know, geometry in the ground. Uh, so we get stuff like this, you know, that we see everywhere in the ground. Lots of geometry, circles. Oh, that's that one there. There was one down there. Don't know what's going on under here. This is, yeah, so this is, so we had this castle here. And this is where Fort Macquarie was. So this was another castle uh, that was, well, this was like the Citadel. So I would say this would have been just, you know, part of the star and it was probably all walled. You know, a few more funny lines in the ground there. And of course, these areas are just always, um, you know, either parklands or lands that we, you know, we can't access. And look down here, what is that? Lots of tunnels going into the ground. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. Any Sydney ciders? Uh, let me know what that is. Okay, this is probably the stables. Yeah, okay. So this is <laughs> clearly another castle. And this is what they turn into the stables. And then now they've turned it into the conservatory of music. Uh, so there you go. But again, just looking, I mean, this hasn't... This isn't a natural canal, obviously. It's not man-made. But they have gone in and they've made man-made edges just everywhere. You know, look at this point here. Probably a remnant of some star fort fortage. You know, this, this whole sort of area looks a bit sus. And this is Fort Denison. Just sitting out there in the harbour. Half a cut. Well, not even half. Just the front edge of a castle, and of course they won't let us look under the water. We need Google C. Have they got Google C? Uh, but look at this, you know, they just black stuff out everywhere. And so, yeah, so there's basically a few castles for you. There's one, uh, two, the conservatory. This one got smashed. That, that was one, three. 
One out in the harbour here is four. Uh, this, Fort Denison. Now, this island I don't think has anything on it. Except a big mound that looks to be covered. Okay. Bit of wallage there. So that's probably, there probably was something there. And then, if we come out to here. Again, you just see all these, you know, sort of walls. Now, of course, they say that this was all built as, you know, a fort for World War II. But around here, there is actually the remnants of the Star Fort. And we have this bit. This is the entrance uh, to Sydney Harbour. And down here, uh, you'll see it's all sitting up on a huge sort of limestone cliff. But what do we get here? But these uh, circles, you know, these holes we see everywhere. Now they say these are built for World War II. Look at the edge of this rock. Look at this. Look at that. Is that carved? I mean, come on. What is going on there? They look like big block blocks coming out, don't they? Uh, Old World Lighthouse. And just these, yeah, funny bits like this all over the place. But yeah, like I said, they say this was built uh, as a fort in World War II to protect from all the people that were coming down to Australia. Now look down there. Look at that. Can you see these look like blocks, like long blocks, and the ends have maybe snapped off, and down here, what do we get? Big, massive blocks. Look at that. That is bizarre. I mean, wow. Block work, anyone? Even down here. But clearly, look, big square cut blocks. And even in there, look at that. In the, so this, oh my gosh, so this is probably a whole completely man-made wall. I mean, look at that. Can you see these in there? And, and these are the blocks that have just fallen off. Wow. There you go. So yeah, definitely, uh, you know, re looks like remnants of a star fort here. You know, helicopter pad they've turned that circle into. Um, even in this building... Look at that round bit there, so that may be a re-roofed old building. And I'm not sure what's on the other side. I think there was something. And I just wanted to finish with a couple of maps. This is Sydney. Now this says 1808. 1808. Again, the story is they turned up uh, 1788 is when they put their flag in and there was nothing here. 1788. So this is 20 years after that. And look at all the housing here. We've got streets everywhere. We've got houses. We've got roads. We've got big buildings in here. Now all down here is completely built out. Um, even up here, buildings. In 20 years. And this one is uh, between 1810 and 1823, so the same thing, 20, 25 years after they've landed. And look at the build-out here. Barrack Square's already done that. Okay, <laughs> obviously, because there was a military barracks. That's why it's called Barrack Square. You know, we get the same in Perth. We get Barrack Street, because there used to be a big barrack, well, what they call barracks. Star Citadels, which is really what they are, but this is... Yeah, 25 years after now look these are all houses all these squares all completely built out all the roads built uh, a massive barracks now we've got st philip's church we saw that before that was huge uh what do we have there uh something palace main quadro chaplain lieutenant governor windmills military hospital The battery, oh my gosh, it's even drawn almost like a star. Look at that. And buildings just the whole way along, the naval yards and that, all 25 years after they landed with nothing. Oh, two hospitals and another barracks. Why not? And another church. 
You know, we need all this. You know, you need three churches, two barracks, you know, in a brand new uh, colony, right? Just, just madness. And even down here, look at this, that's all just rooted out. Oh, you know, and they're not, this isn't like a design of this is what we're going to build. This has got buildings drawn in it everywhere, completely built out. So this is a drawing of what they found. Okay, Australia was found. That's what found it is, found. And one last map to finish up. I'm not sure of the date of this, but you can see how built out this place is. It is an early map because when we zoom in a bit, we get Fort Macquarie and look again, drawn pretty much like a star. It's almost the star port like we see on the old maps. I'm, so I'm getting excited because um, this is what I've been looking for. Old maps, you know, with, with the star forts drawn on them, the citadels drawn on them. And that's pretty close. The other thing I'm really, really looking for is these maps, these interactive maps that you find. There's there are heaps of them for America. They've got them for uh, New York. I know Dustin's got uh, one for Buffalo, and these are the maps where you can zoom in and they show you the street view, all the buildings, you know, really intricate um, maps. So if anyone knows where there's any of Australia, please let me know, because I would be very interested in having a look. So there you go, guys. I've walked through Sydney and the castles of Sydney and how the narrative just doesn't, you know, it just doesn't make sense. All these massive castles everywhere, but who built them and where did all the um, materials come from? Where, where was all the industry? Because we see all these maps, you know, but there's no industry drawn on them, is there? There's no brickworks, there's no glassworks, there's no ironworks, nothing like that. Just just old world buildings. So, um, many, many questions. So I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Of course, a big thank you to everyone who supports this channel. Um, you know, in any way you can by uh, subbing, sharing is the best way. Of course, you know, if you can share this information out, if you find it interesting and <coughs> and if you hit the bell, you'll be notified of all my future uploads. Uh, remember, I do have two channels, Autodidactic 1 and 2, so make sure you subscribe to both if you're into the history part. And I do have another couple of channels, you'll find the links below. And a big thank you to everyone who supports me uh, through my Patreon, PayPal, and merch stores. Um, you know, I definitely always appreciate you guys so much because uh, that is really the difference that keeps this channel going. Um, because yeah, basically, I mean, I'm, I've got remonetized on my on my original channel, so that's good. But yeah, uh, YouTube still don't really share my videos very freely. So the more sharing you can do. Uh, the faster we'll get this info out there. So thanks for spending some time with me. Have a magnificent day, and I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.